So, here we are, the old city of London. I don't make much of this dungeon, unless there are some secret chains around. I guess you are all here to see the tale of Dick Whittington unfold, and how the streets of London are paved with gold. Well, no, they are not paved with such fine jewels, and this city is just full of fools. You will get to meet Dick, but in a flash you will be gone quick. Oh, the thought of Dick just makes me sick. When me and my rat army get what we want, the sweet smell of success, London will never get rid of my horrid pests. Up through the sewers we will go, and we won't stop until we have every part of London town covered. And do you think I'm scared? No, I ain't bothered. What's that I can smell? Oh, oh, it's that sickly sweet smell that can't take us all to hell. Spirit of Bow Bells here, so boys and girls, never fear. King Rat, your time in London is up, and soon you will be gone. So how does that feel? I think it is about time that someone invented rent kill Off you go, back down your sewer with your nasty smell, as Dick arrives into London with the chime of his bell. Your hero may come quick, but even I know your dick is very thick. He will fall quickly in love, a spell that you have put on him from above. Oh, King Rat, you know so much. I always thought you were a bit out of touch. Come on, just crack a smile and let my goodness work on you, just for a while. I don't have time to sit here and listen to you. As future Mayor of London, I have a lot to do. King Rat, you will never be Mayor of London. Oh, yes I will. Oh, no you won't. No, yes I will. Oh, no you won't. Bo Bells, there is no point in being a tricky dicky when you're messing with me. The future leader of London, King Rat. And there is nothing you can do about that. <laughs> see about that, you nasty vermin. I have heard enough of your vicious sermon. Now it is time to take you to old London town, a place where there is never a frown. Dick, our hero, is on his way to save the day and rid London of these pesky rats. However, without his pussy in tow, let's head on over to London just in time to really begin our 2020 virtual pantomime. However, just a reminder, if you are of a prudish disposition, this show isn't for you, so it's best if you just piss off now, really. But if you love Dick and all its glory, stay around for your favourite pantomime story. You stumble through your days. Got your head hung low, your sky's a shade of grey, like a zombie in a maze. You're asleep inside, but you can shake awake. Cause you're just a dead man walking, thinking that's your only option. But you can flip the switch and brighten up your darkest day. Sun is up and the colour's blinding, take a world and redefine it. Divide your narrow mind, you'll never be the same. Come Light your light, let it burn so bright Reaching up to the sky And it's open wide, you're electrified And the world becomes a fancy And we're all in the good day Cause the dreams you made when you're free of light are wide open And you know you can't go back again To the world and you are living in Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open So come alive I see you in your eyes You believe that life That you need to hide your face Afraid to step outside So lock the door But don't you stay that way No more living in those shadows You and me, we know how that goes Cause what you say it will never ever be the same A little bit of white and it's dragging Balls up to keep on turning You could have more you Right, reaching up to the sky, and it's 
Hiya kids! Just the four of us then. I am Dick Whittington and I'm here for an adventure. Are you ready for an adventure? I said are you ready for an adventure? That's great then. Right boys and girls, what I want you to do is this. Every time when I come onto the stage, I'm gonna shout Hiya kids! And I want you all to shout back at me as loud as you can. There's our dick! Can you do that for me? I said can you do that for me? Well, I think we need to have a little practice, as some of you look a little nervous, and some of you look miserable as sin. Don't forget, when I run out, you shout, there's our dick! Hiya, kids! Wow, that was really loud! I have travelled a long journey, on foot, from the glorious town of Bristol, to the big city of London, to find my name and fortune, and some sexy ladies. Boys and girls, I am also here looking for love! I have heard that the streets here are paved with gold and that my destiny awaits me. You see, in most versions of Dick Whittington, he has a cat, and you can see that I don't. Unfortunately, I haven't had pussy for a while now. The amount of pussy has dried up in Bristol, so I am seeking my fortunes here in little old Bristol anyway. I'm going to have a look for somewhere to sleep and eat so I can continue my quest. Excuse me, old fellow. Where can I get some bed and board around here? You will be very lucky, my son. Everywhere is in lockdown, due to the rat infestation. <laughs> but if you wanted to be bored in bed, there's always plenty of women on the ships. Anyway, I am not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure either. No, I am not sure. We can't both be not sure. <laughs> of course we can. I'm not sure of anywhere I can stay and eat, and neither are you. No, you're missing the point. <laughs> I am not sure. I'm not an idiot. I know you're not sure, but I'm not sure as well. I am Captain Not Sure. Have you forgotten your last name? No, my last name is Not Sure. Your last name is what? Not sure. So how am I supposed to know what your name is when you're not sure? My name is Captain. Captain Not Sure of the good ship Bobels. Ha ha ha. Captain Not Sure. Oh, why didn't you say? I tried. I am Dick Whittington. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh, come on. It's a family show. Actually, wait, it isn't. I am Dick Whittington. And I have travelled all the way here from Bristol to find fame, fortune and love. I've heard the streets are paved with gold. I'm not sure about that, young dick. Why aren't you sure about that old captain? I am almost certain that the streets are covered in rat droppings, as we are under attack from the verminous wrath of King Rat. <laughs> Captain! Captain! Have you got those sweets on board yet? The rats are everywhere and we don't want to disappoint the Sultan of Morocco. Of course. Just one more box and then we'll be set for our voyage in a few days time. I just need to polish me busts and she will be ready for sailing. <laughs> or polish me busts too. <laughs> Ooh, well, well. Hello, hello, hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Oh, who's this handsome fella, Captain? Where have you been hiding him? Oh, the things I'd do to you. <laughs> I'd grab you by the knickknacks and take you down to the sack. <laughs> this is Dick. I just bumped into him. He has walked all the way from Brizzle. And he is looking for somewhere to sleep and eat before he fulfills his destiny. <laughs> well, hello, Dick. I can fulfil your destiny, if your destiny is a widowed baker who has baps to die for. My eyes buns are piped and juicy for you to squeeze. Put me a gas mark, Seven, and you know why? Because like me, that's hot. I think I have to go now. Well, I'm only playing with you, Dick. 
I only have eyes for one man right now. Well, who's that then? Not sure. Oh, you mean Captain Not Sure? No, I haven't made my mind up yet. I'm not sure. Oh, Dick, do tell us about your destiny you're here to fulfil. I would love to know so much more. Don't you usually have a pussy in tow? Are you looking for a new pussy, Dick? Everyone needs a pussy to their dick. You see, I had an epiphany, a dream the other night. I saw that London had been plagued with rats. They invaded some poor old woman's sweet shop and ruined the delivery that was meant for the Sultan of Morocco. The rats had gotten aboard the ship and thrown everyone overboard just off the shores of Morocco. And the rats captured a pretty young girl and locked her away in the Sultan's chamber. And I had to fight the evil King Rat to win her back. If I defeated the rat army, the young girl would be mine and I would become the Lord Mayor of London. And if you lost... I don't know. I got woken up at that point. So that is what's made you come all the way from Bristol. <laughs> well, that is dedication. As it happens, I do need a rat catcher in me shop. We've lots of rats and they're everywhere. That's okay. I can make rat traps. I've been practicing along the way. What do you think, Alice, daughter of mine? Well, I think it's a great idea. Dick seems so lovely and I'm sure he'll be a real asset. Besides, just look at his muscles. He's a strong boy. A perfect... Dick, you're hired. You can sleep on the shop floor and try and catch all those pesky rats for us. If you behave yourself, you can even come on the voyage to Morocco with us, eh? How does that sound? I am very happy to accept your offer. Thank you, and I won't let you down. Now, don't get all emotional on me. Oh, come on, Alice. We've got to get ready for your birthday tomorrow. OK, Mother. Thank you, Dick. I'm sure you will be the hero. See you later. Wow, boys and girls. My fortune is really coming in now. I have found somewhere to sleep, I've got a job, and I think I'm falling in love with Alice. Things are starting to look up for me after all. Who knew that Dick could get so lucky? I'm back on top! You can never know what it's like Your blood like winter freezes just like ice And this cold lonely light that shines from you You wind up like the wreck you hide behind that mask you use And did you think this fool could never win? Well look at me, I'm a coming back again I got a taste of love in a simple way And if you need to know what well, I'm still standing You just fade away and don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did Looking like a true survivor Feeling like a little kid I'm still standing after all this time Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind I'm still standing Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah! A little louder! I'm still standing Once I never could hope to win You're starting down the road and leaving me again The threats you made were meant to cut me down And if my love was just a circus You'd be a clown by now You know I'm still standing Better than I ever did Looking like a true survivor Feeling like a little kid I'm still standing After all this time Picking up the pieces of my life without you on my mind I'm still standing Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah A little louder I'm still standing Yeah, yeah, yeah Hiya kids! How many more boxes of these sweets do we need to carry aboard the ship? Just a few more, Dick. Just a few more. <laughs> Captain, I've been thinking about Alice. Ah, yes. As radiant as the sunshine. As bright as the day. As sexy oh, as Sarah. Mm. Well, we can agree to disagree on that last one. I was thinking about what to get her for her birthday. But as I've only known her for a few hours, I was wondering... 
if you could give me any tips on what she likes. Dick, my boy, I've known Alice ever since she was a little nipper. <laughs> I know what she loves, but that is quite a lot of things. First off, she loves the shoes from Seuss's Shoeshine Shop in Swindon. <laughs> So you're telling me that Alice loves the shoes that she supplied from Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon? That's right, Dick. Alice will only wear shoes that are supplied from Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon. And if they aren't supplied from Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon, she will know. <laughs> How will she know if the shoes are not supplied from Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon? How can someone tell if the shoes that I supply are not in fact from Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon, but are from Susie's shoeshine shop in Southend? Because she knows that Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon is where she sits. She shines, and where she shines, she sits in her shoeshine shop in Swindon. It's simple. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Where she sits, she shines, where she shines, she sits in her shoeshine shop in Swindon. Where she sits and shines and shines and sits. Ha <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that? I didn't quite catch that. <coughs> Right. Because she knows that Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon is where she sits. She shines, and where she shines, she sits in her shoeshine shop in Swindon. It's simple. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. In her shoeshine shop in Swindon is where she sits, shines, shines, and sits. Ha <laughs> ha but, what if Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon, where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits, in a shoeshine shop in Swindon has been sold, and Susie no longer shines where she sits and sits where she shines, shines where we sits and sits where we shine in our shoeshine shop in Swindon? <laughs> Sorry, I am a little old. Can you repeat that? <laughs> but, I'll just go to Asda instead. What's all the commotion out here about Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon, where she sits? She sits and shines. <laughs> I'll try that again. What's all the commotion out here about Susie's shoeshine shop in Swindon, where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits, being sold? <laughs> Don't start that again. Dick was just wondering what he could get your lovely daughter for a birthday present. <laughs> well, Dicky, you could get her the most luxurious present a girl could wish for in the big city of London. What's that then? Crystals? Diamonds? Diamantes? Nah, don't be silly. Seashells. Seashells? Aha, yes. Seashells. Alice always loved them when she was growing up. I used to take her in my boat to the nearest shore, where they would be selling seashells on the seashore. Alice always chose her favourite and took it home to display in pride of place. I think her name was uh, Sally Sandy Shore. <laughs> I wonder if she's still selling them. Of course she does. Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells by the seashore. But if Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells by the seashore, then where are the seashells Sally sells? I am sure Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, I'm sure that the shells are seashore shells. So you're telling me I need to go to the nearest shore and find Sally Sandy Shore and get some seashells for Alice's birthday? <laughs> no, I think Sarah was saying, <coughs> right. Alice wants the seashells that are sold by Sally Sandy Shore on the seashore. The seashore is where the seashells are that are sold by Sally Sandy Shore. Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells by the seashore. But if Sally Sandy Shore sells the seashells by the seashore, then where are the seashells Sally Sandy Shore sells? I am sure that Sally's seashells are on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So. If she sells seashells on the seashore, I'm sure that the shells are seashore shells. Ha! Precisely, Captain. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Sarah, do you mind repeating that just one more time for me? <sighs> Alice wants the seashells that are sold by Sally Sandy Shore on the seashore. The seashore is where the seashells are that are sold by Sally Sandy Shore. Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells by the seashore, but if Sally Sandy Shore sells seashells by the seashore, then where are the seashells Sally Sandy Shore sells? 
I am sure Sally sells seashells on the seashore. The shells that she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells on the seashore, I'm sure that the shells are seashore shells. Sorry, what was that last little bit? Don't be such a tricky dicky. Now go and get going and get Alice the seashells. I will give Dick a hand, Sarah. You get the sweets ready. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Alice! What did I say about working on your birthday? I know, but I just wanted to make sure we had everything ahead of our voyage. Well, do we? Except for the Captain and Dick. Oh, I really love Dick, Mother. I haven't ever had a dick in my life. I think he could be the one. He would be my first dick and I want him to be my last dick too. Oh, Alice, why didn't you ask for Dick for your birthday? It would have been a lot cheaper than that boat I bought you. I only saw Dick a few days ago, Mother. How was I going to know that I would be feeling this way? Since I saw Dick, everything has changed. Every time I see him, I get butterflies in my stomach and I get all shy. I think I'm in love. Happy birthday, Alice. <laughs> now, what are you two girls talking about in here? Not about me, I hope. <laughs> Alice was just declaring her love for Dick. Just like your mother, aren't you? <laughs> I'm so pleased that you have found happiness together. Well, we haven't yet. I haven't told him. He hasn't told me. But I know there's something. I can feel it when I have Dick by my side. Quick, I think Dick is coming. Hiya, kids. Happy birthday, Alice. I hope you like your present. Oh, Dick, it is perfect. Just like you, then. Alice Fitzwarren, you are the most beautiful girl in the whole of London. And you're the most perfect Dick I have ever met. Oh, a true match made in heaven. Come on, you. Let's leave them to it. Would you like to visit me poop deck? <laughs> if we have enough time, I make sure your mast is erected, sailor boy. All my life, I have never known what true love is. That is until I came here, and I have met my Alice. Alice Fitzwarren, I love you. And I love you too, Dick Whittington. Like a sunrise, like a rainfall down the sun. And I wonder, I wonder why you look at me like that. What you're thinking, what's behind. Don't tell me, but if. Take this moment and make it last forever. I'm gonna give my heart away and pray we'll stay together. Cause you're the one good reason. You're the only guy that I need. Cause you're more beautiful than I can ever see. Gonna take this night and make it evergreen. Now, Dick, I nearly forgot to tell you. The Lord Mayor has given me his chain to look after as the town hall's safe is under threat from the rats, and no one would think to look in my little old sweet shop. I want you to guard this with your life tonight. Now, Dick, here is the key to the safe. I want you to keep this very safe. Of course I will, Sarah. You have my promise. I will keep it safe. Well, there's a clever dick. Good night, dick. Good night, dick. Good night, Alice. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to go asleep over here. If anyone tries to get into that safe and take the Lord Mayor's chain, you will have to wake me up. Do you think you can do that? Great. I need you to shout, get up, dick! You will have to do it very loud as I'm a very heavy sleeper. Shall we try it? Good night, boys and girls. You're going to have to do it much louder than that, boys and girls. Anyway, I'm off to go and get some sleep. 
Good night, boys and girls. Oh, sleep well, Dicky boy. <laughs> Let me take this chain and put it in his bag. No one will ever know it was me. Oh, how wonderful you are, King Rat. See, I told you all that King Rat never gives up. Now time to give me the winner's champagne in my cup. Time to unlock the safe with the key. The bag was a ludicrous decision, if you ask me. Here it is, the Lord Mayor of London's chain. I think it's time we cause Dick some heartbreak and pain. Into his bag, the chain I will place. The other horrid lot will be straight on his case. Away from London, Dick will be sent with no money to even afford a rent. Away from London town, he will walk and will never return. With Dick out of the way, it is time for King Rat to play. Once I have taken over London town, I will be back for all of you. So don't frown. <laughs> Morning, Dick. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Dick, get up. Morning, everyone. Is today the day? You're right, Dick, my boy. Today we set sail for Morocco and deliver Sarah's delicious sweets to the Sultan. Arr. Yes, the Sultan Vinegar. His brothers are the Sultan Pepper. <laughs> Ew. Well, we just have one more task before we go, and that is to deliver the Lord Mayor's chain back to his office. Have you got the key, Dick? What do you need a key for? The safe is already open. The safe is... <gasps> open? And the chain? It's gone. Well, there could only be one person who stole this chain. One person who we have been nothing but kind to, and he steals from us. Mother, you can't surely mean Dick. I'll tell you what you've done, Whittington. You have waited for us all to leave. Unlock the safe and put the chain in your bag. However, you fell asleep before you could make your grand escape and steal the mayor's chain from underneath our noses. Yes. Ah. I can assure you I haven't done anything wrong. Go, Dick Whittington. Go and leave London town and never return. But... But nothing. You will never be welcome in London town again. Alice, surely you believe me? I don't know what to believe, Dick. I really don't. Well, that's it, boys and girls. I didn't do anything wrong and I'm left to pay the price. I've been set up by... by who? Who would do such a horrible thing? Boys and girls, what evil vermin is King Rat? Our hero Dick did not deserve that. He has walked from London to Bath already. He is not going steady. But soon he will stop for a rest. Then we can watch my magic impress. I will make sure King Rat is proved to be a rotten rat and Dick's name will be cleared. Just like that. Here he comes. It's nearly time for my sermon to get rid once and for all of these nasty vermin. Hiya, kids. I still can't believe it. They have thrown me out of London town for something I haven't done. It is so unfair! My legs are killing me, and I've walked for days now. I may just have to stop here and have a little snooze. Besides, there is more walking to do, and I haven't seen any women on my route. This really is shit, isn't it? Hi, Dick. How are you feeling? It must really be rubbish being accused of stealing. Sorry, who are you? And how do you know of my plight? I am the spirit of Bow Bells, and I have followed you throughout those nights. That epiphany you had a little while back. Your name can still be on that plaque. Dick Whittington, your quest is not over. Your luck is in. you found your four-leaf clover. I'm so confused. Plaque? Four-leaf clover? What does this all mean? I've been banished from London town. I... I don't think I'm in luck anymore. Dick, can you hear the bells chime? Just like me, rhythmically speaking in rhyme. They are saying, Dick Whittington, you should head back, and don't forget your stick and sack. Sarah has checked the CCTV in the shop, and your name has been cleared. 
Even Alice let out a great big cheer. Everyone in London town saw what King Rat did. I think it's about time that we got rid. Dick Whittington, Lord Mayor of London, the bells are saying, your safe return is all that they are praying. Everyone is wanting to hear the bells, Dick, and see them. Go and give me your bells, and be the dick everyone knows you can be. This means I can go back and fulfil my destiny, to defeat the evil King Rat and become the Lord Mayor of London? You have just got to believe in yourself, Dick Whittington, and you will go far. Keep dreaming, and one day it will all come true. Shut your eyes and dream. I close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting here for me, that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me gonna You don't have long to get back to London, for the good ship Bow Bells is leaving soon, setting sail just before the rise of the moon. Hang on, wait a tick. I will magic you back to London, Dick. Off you go to conquer King Rat and win Alice's heart and stop London town from smelling like one huge fart. <laughs> with Dick safely on his way to the good ship Bow Bells to help with their quest, gee, I hope he has time to rest. We will see you in 15 minutes' view, when we bring you Dick Whittington, the pantomime, Act Two. We want you, we want you, we want you as a recruit. We want you, we want you, we want you, we want you, we want you as a new If you want some treasure, search for hidden treasure, come aboard and sail with me. If your tummy's dodgy and the ship is wobbly, soon you will be turning green. Sailing across the ocean in a certain motion, waves will knock you off your feet. If the waves are tiny and your stomach's churning as we sail across the deep blue sea In, in the, the navy. navy, as we sail off down the Thames in, in the navy. navy, as we wind up past Big Ben In, in the, the navy. navy, there are far too many bends In, in the, the navy. navy, in, in the, the navy. navy, in, in the, the navy. navy As we sail across the tide in, in the Navy, navy. Over the side in the Navy. It's a very choppy ride in the Navy. In the Navy. We 
want you, they want you, they want you as a new recruit. They want you, they want you, they want you as a new recruit. In the Navy, as we sail off down the Thames. In the Navy, as we wind up past Big Ben. In the Navy, there are far too many Bens. In the Navy, in the Navy. In the Navy, as we sail across the tide In the Navy, it's a very chubby ride In the Navy, I'll be sick over the side In the Navy, in the Navy Dick, my boy, I'm so glad to have you back on board Believe me, Captain, not as relieved as I am I'm glad that Sarah's shop has CCTV well, as soon as we saw what King Rat had done to my lovely dick, then we had to take action. But we couldn't find you. I was walking all the way back to Bristol when I stopped for a nap. I had this dream that I returned and defeated the King Rat and became Lord Mayor of London. I want to make that dream a reality. Don't dream your life away, dick. Besides, how did you know to come back to the dock? It was the spirit. Oh, vodka was it? Or whiskey? Or, or some of that Gordon's pink gin? No, it was the spirit of Bow Bells. Listen, can you hear my bells chiming? Well, that's enough talking for now. Time is pressing, and this ship won't steer itself to Morocco. Now, come aboard, and let's set sail on the good ship Bow Bells. Anchors away! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it right there, you wicked rat. Spirit of Bowbell's here, so it's time you sat. Listen to my talk, or I will make you walk off the plank into the sea. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely of me? Oh, here she is. Bravo for the grand entrance. I think it's about time you stop talking in rhyme, especially during my... Pantomime. This show is about our hero Dick. A hero that will be here, defeating you quite quick. Oh, I think you misunderstand. This show is about me, King Rat. And there's nothing you or all of these kids can do about that. Now go tinkle your chime. You're ruining my pantomime. King Rat, this isn't your pantomime, so enough of that. Oh, yes it is. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes it is. Is Oh, no, it's not. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is! It isn't, it isn't, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Look, I've got you all where I want you, fighting my every move. King Rat is once again superior to you all, and now it's time I sent you a warning call. You see, Bo Bells, since you've been down here with me, my rodent army have been up to all sorts. We've been struggling to impress, but now they are even climbing up your dress. They do love a bit of fish. They are everywhere aboard this ship. We have been nibbling away at the ship all this time whilst you've been delivering your rhymes. The ship won't be going far. They will probably regret not taking the car. Bow Bells, the good old ship will sink, not leaving them with a moment to think. Oh, Bow Bells, you look super scared now. Nothing to say. I am surprised. Wow. Dick and Co. will soon be at the bottom of the deep blue sea, and that means no one, not even you, can all defeat me. King Rat will reign supreme, me and my rodent team. <laughs> <laughs> Pesky King Rat think he's already won. I think it's about time I had a little fun. A spirit of Bow Bells, I will try to let our friends set sail. If my super plan fails and down goes the good ship Bow Bells, I will make sure my friends can breathe and talk under the sea, and I'm sure King Rat will thank me. Oh no, I'm too late to save the ship. Oh well, I'm sure it is only a little blip. Down we go to the ocean floor, but don't forget my magic cure, to let our friends breathe and speak beneath the waves. Whew, 
That was a close shave. <sighs> Come on, you three. Oh, uh, Sarah, I see that you've lost all your clothes at sea. No, I have these three modest leaves covering me delicate parts. Has anyone seen Dick? I haven't seen Dick for a long time. I'm just longing for Dick. I really need Dick now. Ah, she has her mother's desperation for Dick. Hiya, kids. Nice leave, Sarah. It's a shame you didn't lose your clothes, Alice. And you, Captain. Oh, no, he's one of those bisexual men. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm attracted to the lovely Alice. Now, I've been thinking, as most of our suites have been destroyed by the evil King Rat, we need to gather up some bits and bobs to give to the Sultan of Morocco to try and sweet-talk him into buying Sarah's delicious sweets. <laughs> Let's get going and get our adventure properly started. Wait for me. Oh, wow, I'm so hot. Well, two kinds, in the body and in temperature. I just need something ice cold to cool me down. Just one cornetto, give it to me. Just one cornetto. Right on cue. Ice cream man, give me a soft scoop. What is this soft scoop? I just sell one cornetto. Well, give it to me. And the ice cream. You repulse me. Ooh, you're a charmer, aren't you? So, can I get one cornetto, please? Certainly. They're in my van. This way. Just think how hot you are right now. He's right, boys and girls. I can't resist. I'm melting. Step this way. It's me, you fools! But no one could have seen that as a master of disguise is King Rat. I will take this foolish woman prisoner, with the Sultan too in the place, and there is not a lot anyone can do. Soon Dick and Co. will be on their way to the palace, and they will feel the wrath of my malice. Soon King Rat will be Lord Mayor of London. How good does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Silence screaming, the fires are howling way down in Morocco tonight. There's a woman in the shadows with ice cream in her eye and a sort of crying out of sight. There's evil in the air and the thunder in the sky and two rats rain of London street. Down in the tunnels where the reds are rising We'll swear a little young boy down in the gutter Whittington was his name Looking back to the only thing in this whole world Is pure and good and right And wherever I am and wherever I go There's always gonna be some light But I gotta get out, I gotta break out now Get back to London town so we gotta make the most of a war fight together when it's over, you know. Which it's over, we so we know. Surely it must be this way. No, I, I'm i sure it was the last left. Dick, Captain, are you sure? No, Alice, I'm not sure. Captain, not sure. No one is laughing at that same gag. We did it for half an hour in the first act. Surely the Sultan's room must be around here somewhere. I used to know his brother, <laughs> Salt and Vinegar. In here, Dicky boy, don't be shy. Come nice and close to the Sultan. That's it. Come closer. Closer. Ha ha! Tis me, King Rat. Did you not know about that? I have captured the Sultan and the woman. 
Sarah the cook, and trapped them in the chamber. Just like in those fairy tale books. So, Dick, I will take Alice too. Besides, I don't want to cause any malice. <laughs> now, be a good boy, Dick, and run away. Or are you quite thick? Let my friends go now, and the Sultan too. You have had your fun, King Rat. Now it's time to give up the chase. Oh, my boy, the chase hasn't even started yet. If you don't want them back, you will have to win fair and square. A fight to the end. Me and you. Let's see what our dreamer can do. Come on then, King Rat, you horrible piece of vermin. You wanted a fight and now you're gonna get one. Let's see what you've really got. Come on, Dick. I thought you'd be quick. Unleash it on me, Dicky boy. Well, you've asked for it, King Rat. Strike one at me. I'd be on your guard, Dick, as you don't know where I'm going to attack you from. I could come out from the front, I could come from behind. What would you prefer, Dicky boy? You won't need to come at me. Here I come! Yeah! Well, well, who'd have thought it? The little dreamer from Bristol has won against the strong and mighty King Rat. Told ya, I wouldn't succumb to your dirty little tricks. Now, you release my friends and the Sultan before I do something I really regret. Dick, wait there. Don't be so mad. It is time to rejoice, smile and be glad. Your friends will be with you in due course. You'll be riding into London town on top of a horse. You have won, Dick. You are close to your destiny. Just sit there and remember what happened in your dream, and I'm sure that Alice has longed to be your queen. Now, it's time to release the terrified three. I will pop on over now I have magicked up a key. You heard that, King Rat? I have fulfilled my dream, where you have sadly failed. Any last words to say? Oh, Dicky boy, don't do anything rash. You've got the Lord's Mayor sash. My destiny is now in your hands. Be kind, and just let me go, if you don't mind. Oh, and one more thing before you go, you horrible vermin. Don't you ever come back to London Town, or I will be on to you. You take all your rodent pals and stay away from us in London. After all, this is my city now. That is understood. Loud and clear. Now, away you go, back to the sewers where you belong. Oh, and be careful of the pong, King Rat. Alice, are you okay? I am now that pesky King Rat has gone. I love you, Dick Whittington. And I love you too, Alice Fitzwarren. Which is why I wanted to ask you, will you marry me? Yes! Yes! See? I told you it would work out in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Hold me, Captain. Why don't we get out of here and head back to where we belong? Oh, don't you just love a happy ending, Captain? <laughs> Ah, you just can't beat it. Do you know what would make this an even happier ending? Well, I do have a few ideas, but this is a family show. Ha 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 oh, you do make me laugh, Sarah. And I know we've known each other for a long time. And I know I haven't really said this to you, but I love you. And I like you too. <laughs> I, I, I'm joking, I love you too. Will you marry me, Sarah Fitzwarren? Arr. Of course I will. Get up and give me a cuddle. Oh, <clears throat> give me a moment. Arr. Oh, what the heck. See you all at the wedding. <laughs> We've reached the end of our story. 
and I'm ending it with a pussy. Not a furry one, as I previously told, but I am decorated in mayoral gold. Am I ending it with a non-evil life, in a lie I will never allow to be told? Oh, we're all so happy back in London Tan. Me and the captain have had it off a few times. Me and Dick have also been doing it to his bell chimes. <laughs> but until next year, it is time for one last big cheer. I thought love was only true in fairy tales Meant for someone else but not for me Love was out to get me That's the way it seemed Disappointed haunted all my dreams And, and then, then I saw, saw her face. face Now, now I'm, I'm a believer not a trace, a thousand miles in my mind, I'm in love, I'm a believer, I'm a believer, I'm a believer, I thought love was more or less a giving thing, the more I gave, the less I got, oh yeah. Use in trying, all you get is pain. When I wanted sunshine, I got rain. And then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer, not a trace. A thousand in my mind. I believe. I believe I